Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. For today we're looking at a modded cruiser. Yes, this one is called the Zio Makuta class cruiser. It has a cloaking device, it's got shields, it's got giant battle cannons which you can see right there, and it's got fancy purple thrusters going all the way around the edge. I am quite a fan of the purpley pink colours, so this one is very visually pleasing to me. So let's press F10 and then we'll dive around the outside, go inside and spawn in some enemies to a blast this. So if I just come over to here and find it, there we go. This ship is not 10,874 blocks, it's a little less, it's 2,722. Yes, I wish Steam would stop doing that, they were good for quite a long time, but now I have to actually spawn in the blueprints to see their proper block counts. So starting at the very front here, we have got a camera for us to view forwards from the main cockpit. The main cockpit in this one is built inside the ship, so you wouldn't be able to see outside normally without using the third person camera. We do have below here a hangar, where the hangar doors would be closed, but I left it open during my little initial check. Yes, there is a small hangar there for you to store in maybe two or three small fighters and connect them up to some connectors, but I'll come back to that when I go to the interior. Coming around the side here, we have got some uh, rocket launches, just eight of them at the very front there for you to blast forwards. These are the only real weapons that we can control ourselves when doing this, everything else is a turret. Then coming around to the full side there, we of course got our battle cannon from our battle cannon weapons pack, but we'll let them blast the enemies a little bit later. Around the side here, we've got some nice uh, block work on this very uh, black, it might be dark blue actually. I think it's dark blue, but it could just be the skybox. Yes, we've got this lovely block work going all the way along, stopping it from being a plain uh, block lump. And then underneath here, we got our modded thrusters with a purple light. Now they do look spectacular when they're actually in full force, but like this, they sort of look okay. Moving along the uh, side here, there's not too much to talk about, it's mainly the same coming along this body, but it does look good. We can see up here our cockpit number one, which isn't the one to drive it, it caught me off guard at first. This is almost like a decoy pilot seat for you to have a sacrificial player sit on and perhaps get kidnapped if a pirate boards you. Yes, this just sticks out on the front here, you can control some of the weapons from that seat, but the main cockpit is down below in the safety of these steel blocks. Coming across on this first thruster pod, we've got two antenna, which means you can ram people with them, say if you lost the entire front of the ship. We've got some large modded plasma thrusters, then coming around the side there we can see we've got some more of those thrusters, a connector there on the side if you needed to do a quick little recharge, and then some more modded turrets. And as we come along the side, more and more of those modded thrusters. This whole edge there is a blast door edge, and then we just come over to the sloped blocks. On the very back, we've got once again more modded thrusters. Yes, a large one, and then six small ones. Around this side here, we can see we've got a blinking red light at the top there, more thrusters, some catwalks over here, where they have a battery behind them, it looks like. That's very weird. Is that the battery? No, that might be the... That's a hydrogen tank. Look at that stick out from that. I didn't think you could do that, could you? Anyway, that's a pretty neat way of hiding it. Yes, over here we've got our main entrance into the ship. We come along this little black walkway and down into the door over there. Below that we've got another large modded thruster and below that we can see we've got some more little passages here just covering up some more thrusters. Pulling it away and coming around to here, same story on this side with this thrust pod, so I won't cover it. It does look good. I do like ships set up in this type of way. But as we come along the top, we've got our ramps coming up past here, a little glass feature to let you peer inside, so those steps will go up to our fake decoy cockpit, and then away going down into the main body of the ship, which is well protected. Coming around to here, we've got some more glass, let's peer inside. Got some catwalks coming all the way along over there, past all the turrets. Just let you walk along there and maybe do a bit of maintenance work along here if the turrets took damage. 
And that's about it for the top. If we come down and below, here we go. We've got a blast door edge going all the way along. We can see there's a red peeking through the dark colored blocks. Our hydrogen tank at the very bottom there, a little bit exposed. So make sure you don't have any kind of tank explosion mods on, or that's going to rip the whole front off. You then have some more red blocks as we come all the way around to the back where that large modded thruster is. And that about covers it. It's a very simplistic design that looks a lot more complicated from a distance, but it does look fantastic. So this is it from a better angle like so. I do like how all the turrets along the front here line up. I would in fact use this as a feature rather than a weapon, because I like how the pipes are coming out of the main body of the turret into the next one. It just looks like pipes being funneled along to the front. But it should be glorious when they all turn and fire, but I am concerned that they might damage the ship. But with that all said and done, I believe it's time to take control of my character and head inside. If you're wondering about the skybox around me, that is the Atlantis skybox. Very easy to find on the workshop and is very pretty to have in your world. Let's just come around here, just walking around and then we'll get over to this little rampart here. There we go. We do have a gravity generator on here so we don't have to worry about floating off into space. We can just uh, jump around here like we would on a planet. But walking down here, Double door for the airlock, no time blocks, no scripts for that one, but you could set them up if you really wanted to, but we have a way to go. Up the top here, like I said, is the decoy flight seat, and apparently it's the 20th of May 2018, so we are in fact time travellers while on this ship. The LCD screen to the left and the right are your standard information screens where it'll tell you the components in the ship, then you've got your gas summary, and then you've got your ammo summary and all that. On this screen over here we've got our power, so our reactor, battery, then we've got if our oxygen generators are on or off. Hopping into this seat, but first, first, that is the view on the outside, very clear view from this seat. And same for this, a nice big bit of viewing. But we cannot, you can probably hear my keyboard, we cannot fly this from this seat because the main cockpit is below us, but we can shoot the rocket launches at the front and control other stuff, but they also can be controlled by the other cockpit. Turning around, we're instantly greeted by a interior turret, which will blast anyone who tries to sneak up on you, but you could, if you're very careful, disable it from here. So coming around, let me just turn my light, oh, it was on. Yes, coming down here, past a bunch of timer blocks, we then have could be a battery behind there. They all look the same with those little green bundles. Bundles? It might be a battery behind there, it's very hard to tell. But we do have a hydrogen tank. That's what it is, a hydrogen tank. And we've got an arrow there pointing up, which means we're going up on this side. There is our gravity generator. Here is our main cockpit, which is a standard vehicle cockpit. And we do have a little screen there showing us the health of the ship. We have a turret right there just to blast anyone who comes down there who's not allowed. But yes, we've got cryopods, we've got cargo containers. We can come over to here where we've got a medical bay to respawn on and recharge ourselves. And then we've got a doorway here, double door, because we're now in the hangar. So we get three connectors in here and we get three along the top there. We've got some shield mods. Yes, this is the energy shields, I believe, not the personal shield or the ship shield mod. So yes, we do have protection on here from damage, which is very nice, but they are these small shield mods, so they can't take much of a beating without going down. Two interior turrets in here to make sure you're nice and protected, and we do have some reactors along there to make sure we can power those shield generators. It's a very cramped hangar, but I could be able to spawn in a smaller ship into here. So we could fit a very tiny ship. This is the Dex Fighter, so that would not be able to fit in. We could probably ram it in, in fact. No, it's got atmospheric thrusters, hasn't it? But yeah, it's a very slimline ship, which will be sent out of here. So coming back through here, it is time to get in to the main cockpit. And these are the thrusters. Look at them. Glorious purple thrusters. Oh, they are great. But yes, bringing it up the HUD. We have got number one for the rockets at the very front. They all fire together. 
Number two is for the hangar right there, which I left open by accident. So uh, there is that. Number three is the thrusters. I will just pick up that. They are the thruster arrays. I believe if I come over to here and go over there, yep, plasma thrusters are what they were called. We can just fly along and switch them off. And uh, yes. Number four is to jump. We got 1.4 kilometers in terms of jump range. So let's just go for a little jump. In fact, let me just go and we confusing, confuse it. I'm sure that was fine. Yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere, so it doesn't matter. Number five is the beacon on and off. So there is that. Number six is to turn the rockets at the front off. Number seven, to turn the interior turrets off. Number eight, to turn off the battle cannons along the front. And number nine is to turn off the small little Gatling guns at the back there. On tab number two, we've got our decoy button. Yes, so this ship has got some decoys in it, which we can turn on and off. Good way to protect yourself. Number two is the auto repair system. Number three is to turn our antennas on and off. Number four is to turn the projectors on and off. So that is if you want to repair yourself up. Because we do have the nanotech build and repair system on this. So having that projector on there will make sure you always stay in one piece. Number five is to view the camera at the very front. Number six is a button that I'm going to press at last. Oh, I saw that. Number seven is to turn the gyroscopes on and off. Number eight, nanotech build and repair system. And number nine is to reconfirm the diagnostic. So coming to this, pressing that, it'll then just check over the ship. There we go. Everything is okay and green. Tab number three, four, five has nothing on it. So now it's time to press number six, which is our stealth drive. Yes, invisibility, cloaking device, whatever you want to call it. This is going to lag like hell. There we go. Hopefully this doesn't mess up the recording, but now we are invisible and all we can see is our thrusters. Very good, isn't it? Is it just a shame that it takes quite a long time to actually switch between them and there is a fairly high risk of the game going nope when using it. There we are. I saw you over there. I might just go say hello to them. There was some around here. So yes, that is the cloaking device. It is rather wonderful, actually. Just looking at it, and then you can see all the thrusters going all the way around. But yes, switching that off, the game just freezes up. It's usually about maybe six or so seconds. That was a little bit faster, but there is no way to speed that up. And I'm not too sure how well that will handle on a multiplayer server. Slowing down now, switching back to tab number one and actually putting the rockets on and turning all them on. Let's do a quick little thruster test and then it's off to find those pirates. So going forwards, we have a lot of speed, a lot, a lot of speed. Stopping as well is very fast considering the size of the ship. So there's that. Oh good, they're dead ahead of us. Going left, very fast, going right, Wow, that's exceptionally fast. Look at that go up and go down. Oh my. Going backwards. A little slower than everything else, but it's still bloody fast. Going down. Jesus. Okay, yeah. Overkill with the thrusters, I feel. That is one hell of a lot of speed. Wiggling my mouse around. We got a lot of weight on this. It's not too sensitive. It's not too tanky. It's perfect for the size of the ship. But now it's time to find out where those pirates are. I believe that is them right there. That's a very odd setup. Maybe an asteroid will spawn as I get closer to it. But should we go over there with the cloaking device? I don't think so. That sounds like a terrible idea. Because we want to actually see all the turrets firing. And we're now approaching them quite fast, whoop, fully visible signals, we can launch some rockets in them, I think we're going too fast for this, there we go, all the turrets are now going, we can turn them down a little bit, and now they're blasting them, well that was good, and there they go again, screenshotting that, that's a pretty good screenshot, shooting all the rockets into them, 
Yes, there is nothing they can do here. In fact, because that was done, that was all the combat we're getting out of these turrets. I think only the front ones fired, actually. They might even be turned off. Let me just double check that. No, they're turned on. I will just spawn in a brand new ship. In this decoy character, let's just go and give this to the pirates. So we want everything to be given to them. Space pirates. Yep. And the turrets should open fire. There we go. If I just come back over to here, press F6, we're now in the turrets. And away we go, just blasting them with those Gatling guns. The turrets over there don't really seem to be doing much. They are very cautious about hitting each other. But we can just blow up that poor little ore facility with all of those Gatling guns. Look at that go. And we can tilt ourselves a little bit more. That might cause all the turrets to fire. There we go. Firing in a quite a nice pattern there. And that should be dead fairly soon. But as for that, that is it for the Makuta class cruiser. It's a lovely ship. I do like the purple thrusters. And it has a nice amount of guns on it. It isn't too overkill on the guns. Even with all those cannons at the front and a few on the side there, it's not too crazy with its setup. But now let's just come over to here and ram myself into this base. So off we go. And there we go. It wasn't too bad. And because we can turn on the projector... The build and repair system is just going to put us back to where we just were over time. Of course that will be a little bit different in survival mode because you will have to make sure you've got the materials. But it is still nice to have. But anyway, this is the Makuta class cruiser. It will be in the description below if you wish to download and try it yourself. And I'll be back with another showcase video some point soon. Bye bye.